Hey everyone, I'm Vikram Salunke and welcome to the web application penetration testing and secure coding. This is the video number 9 in the series and in this video we will continue our learning in HTML and we are going to see what is a link and form in this video. So let's get started. First thing first, let's start our Apache web server. dot run enter your password manage servers apache web server start okay it is running next thing let's start the sublime text downloads sublime text free sudo enter password okay let's add a new folder name html basics 2 let's create a new file save it as a index.html okay let's add some html code into it right give a title link link and form okay let's go to the body so if you're having trouble understanding this please go and watch my previous video i have explained all this in that video links in html are known as the hyperlinks Using those, we can jump from one document to another document. For link, we use the A tag or known as the anchor tag. Now for A tag, two things are required. First is a text which will be displayed onto the web page and second will be the address of another document. Let's enter text as x86 assembly and the address we will give using the href tag x86 dot html okay so the text will be the x86 assembly and the address will be the x86 html and we have given the address using the href attribute let's execute this go to the browser okay we are into the html basics and as we can see there is a link okay let's click on that link and now we are into the web page x86 dot html as you can see this a tag has attribute href so what do you mean by attribute? Attribute provides the additional information about the tags and attribute comes in a name and value pair. In this case, the name of attribute is href and the value is x86.html. As you can see, we are just giving the web page address. This is known as the relative URL. In this case, the web browser will only look under the current domain. And if we provide the full URL, such as the google.com slash account.html, then it is known as the absolute URL. A link does not have to be text. It can be image or any other HTML element. Now let's look at forms. Form is used to collect user input. And for that, the form tag is used. HTML form contains text boxes, radio buttons, buttons, etc. Now let's set up a sample web page to collect user data. This is a form. Let's first see the output in the browser. Okay, this is output in a browser. It is asking for a name and a gender from a user and there is a submit button. Let's analyze the HTML elements first. Now, as we can see here, input type text is a text field which is asking for a user's name. The first attribute is type is text and the name is a full name. After that, there are three similar tags, input type radio and the name is gender, but the value is different, male, female and other. That means when user will select male or female or other, then that value will get passed to the server. And after that, there is a submit button. So when we click on this submit, the type submit, all this information will get passed to the web page onto the server and server with the help of a script will process that data. But currently we don't know where the browser will send this data. For this, we will add action attribute to the form and we will add process dot php so when user will click on submit this data will be passed to the process dot php this action attribute defines the action to be performed when form is submitted now this radio button has the same name that is a gender that means only one radio button can be select at a time let's see that okay we can select either male or either female or either other because it has the same name so this is a web browser and this is a web server when user enters information such as a full name equals Vikram and gender equals male and when he clicks on submit, the browser will send that information to the web server and web server script will process that user input. Okay, that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you.